what's going on everybody um, coming in with a YouTube video here uh, late at night so I recently uploaded that video talking about how like I'm gonna get into Black Ops 3 again and uh, do uh, story time videos as well with genuine gameplay of any video game today guys uh, I'm just using some Spider-Man PS4 footage. I've, when I first got this game, I actually wanted to do a um, playthrough of it, and then never did. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're just gonna do a little swing through the city. I'm gonna talk about the the time I had a really horrible manager. My f when I first started at Qdoba. Yes, guys, I do have, I have gotten a job at Qdoba Mexican Eats, and honestly, looking back uh, a year from now, um, it was horrible back then, it, really horrible, um, poorly managed, uh, no breaks, really long hours, just torturous time. And a lot of it had to do with a specific shift runner, as she was called. Um, uh, and for the sake of not revealing her identity or releasing any personal information, let's just refer to her by the nickname that my mother gave her, which is Miss Trenchbull. Um, also, I kind of forgot how to fight in this game, but... Anyway, um, I'm just, I'm really focusing, <laughs> sorry. Um... So, Miss Trenchbull, where do I begin? Okay. Uh, I think the first indicator that this was a horrible person who liked to be just completely rude was that she was a like 60 something year old person lady who is doing shift running at a fast food restaurant where they pay nearly a minimum wage and give almost zero benefits. Probably a person who wants to retire constantly complained about her arthritis. Just the usual, I forgot to save for retirement and now I'm suffering kind of person. Um, and one of the first things she said about me was I walked in on a day that they literally said in my interview was supposed to be my first day. A lot of confusion in there. Um, and the first thing she said about me was that I was a Qdoba virgin. Saying you're somebody is a virgin in any way is kind of an insult and a little rude and unnecessary. But that was her fun way of saying, I never worked there, and today is my first day. But anyway, um, she doesn't sound as horrible yet, and that's because I haven't gotten to the worst of it. Um, she is the type of person who would literally yell at anybody for literally the smallest things. She'd slap... Slap my hand once, uh... For, uh, I guess, touching her, or trying to use her rag to clean up, uh, because she liked the thinner rags due to her arthritis, another sign that really she shouldn't be the one doing shift running when she's like 70, um, 60 something, whatever. Anyway. Um... So, uh, let's see, what's some, what's a really annoying thing she did? Uh, once in a while, of course, uh, we have the lobby and somebody is supposed to 
clean the tables and do all this stuff. And I don't know what it was about people's work habits back then, but I don't know. Uh, I was in the middle of cleaning the tables like I was supposed to, and suddenly there came a rush. So I went back to the work area. And um, started working the line. This okay. By the way, uh, trench pull here uh, <laughs> was the most laziest, dumbest person, honestly ever. She was so slow at her job, and literally closing shifts literally now take us till maybe 10:30 maybe 11 sometimes it could go till 11 30 if there's something like catering the next day whatever um i swear the first time i closed with this uh incompetent lazy woman was sh we literally went to the time limit which is one in the morning and um yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're, I'm working on the line right after cleaning the tables, or at least trying to. And literally in front of my parents. So I'm serving my parents amongst many other customers. And this dumb biatch has the audacity while I'm trying to listen to what customers want in their freaking burrito bowls has literally the audacity to be screaming in my ear about me not properly cleaning down the table. She's literally sitting there, standing there, whatever, pointing out, look at what you did, see that table over there? And it's like, of course, it's like one of those people that are like so overly, I need to get things clean, that like I literally couldn't see what she was talking about. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, so there's, it's just really, really that, like, it's just so annoying, like, okay, I'm getting no help from you <sighs> to assist me in you know, serving customers, and then you have to be screaming in my ear over the littlest things. And like, dude, there are mistakes I was making, like, in the past five months or so, that are way worse than anything she screamed at me for. Like, this one time, uh, we used to have, like, these knockout tacos, they were called, and they are like, specially made. And then the, I was helping this one customer and I was making her tacos and there was a certain sauce ingredient called Mexican Caesar. And like we were out of it and I was just like asking, hey, do we have any more Mexican Caesar? No, we don't, okay. No, so uh, we don't have it. And nobody wants to go back and make more. Of course, this is my first month. I don't know how to do literally anything. So I just figure, all right, I'm just going to wrap up these tacos. I have everything else besides that. And then she legitimately uh, just yelled, like, the customer got mad. And then, like, the soda machine would always run out of sugar drinks and stuff like that the ever -loving stuffing out of dealers is my but there's so much more that she did like just yell at me for the dumbest crap um she was lazy and incompetent and stupid and all this stuff I, I literally dreaded working with her like i think within two weeks of working there i wanted to quit because of her Like, she was just not a good person to be around. And, like, one of the things, you know, of course, we talk about three main things that we bring in the Qdoba team or whatever. And it's like, 
uh, hospitality, you know, care for the customers. Um, and then, like, I don't know, positivity is another one of them, and po yeah, something, uh, or like a third thing. And she did not show any of that. I mean, honestly, having positivity and just like general good work ethic. <laughs> yeah, no, this this is not the person. Okay, I, I mean, I've literally heard stories of how, <laughs> Looks like, we've got some like um, the morning ride. shift, of course, have to has to prep a lot of. <sighs> food and I've heard stories where like she literally took forever to do like the simplest task and it's like dude honestly if no customers are around I could make Pico in like half an hour maybe less I've been, I was literally told that like during the prep time like no customers around. She literally took two hours to make Pico de Gallo. It's it like, if I'd actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a long Anyway, I, you know, I haven't worked with her in so long, and uh, eventually, she was forced to resign, and that was back in like, like literally, not even a month or two after I was working with her. Um. And management changed back then, and yeah. So anyway, moral of the story is, guys, um, sometimes you're going to have horrible coworkers and shift runners if you work at fast food restaurants. <laughs> and if you're lucky enough, then they'll be forced to resign. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, let me know what you think. And, uh, probably have more of these. I have a lot of interesting stories like this. Anyway, have a great night, guys, and I'll see you later.